games have brought us much more than trolls fueling the console wars. They've given us countless experiences in our home, on the go, and everywhere in between. So to show our appreciation, we're counting down consoles that have sold the most units ever. Here's our list of the best-selling consoles. To kick off our list is a handheld console that has arguably provided one of the best dedicated portable experiences ever. It's PlayStation Portable. Making its debut in 2004, the PSP released with high expectations as it offered top-of-the-line graphics, a large LCD, and introduced remote play, a feature that allows users to connect wirelessly to their PlayStation 3s. Within its 10 years on the market, PSP managed to sell just over 80 million units, making it one of the first competitors to Nintendo's line of handheld consoles that was taken seriously. When you think of portable consoles, there is one company that immediately comes to mind, Nintendo. They've created a line of consoles under the Game Boy umbrella, and amongst them is 2001's Game Boy Advance. Selling over 81 million consoles, the Game Boy Advance became the fastest selling console of its time. Despite its quick success, it had mixed reviews at launch. People praised its overall design, graphics, and backwards compatibility with Game Boy and Game Boy Color but criticized its lack of backlit screen, making it hard to play in normal lighting. Regardless of these remarks, Nintendo managed to make a pretty penny on this device. Although Microsoft entered the console market later than its competitors, one of their consoles managed to shake up the market, the Xbox 360. The successor to the Xbox, Xbox 360, sold over 84 million units, but its climb to success wasn't an easy one. Earlier versions of the console suffered from the red ring of death, causing consoles to crash. Luckily, Xbox fixed consoles affected and released an improved model. This allowed gamers to fully appreciate the 360's standout features, like its online service, Xbox Live. The next console on our list was a direct competitor to the Xbox 360, outshining and outselling it with 87.4 million units under its belt. It's the PlayStation 3. Released in 2006, the PS3, similar to the Xbox 360, suffered from negative criticism as well. Selling at a price tag of $499 US for the base model, many saw the asking price was too high especially with a limited library of quality games at launch. Despite the slow start, the PS3 picked up pace thanks to price drops and top-tier games like The Last of Us. We would like to play. This list wouldn't be complete without one of Nintendo's most influential home consoles, the Nintendo Wii. This seventh generation console captured the attention of gamers early on because it offered a unique way for gamers to play, compared to its competitors. With the Wii Remote Controller, players were able to use precise motion control detection to play games. Although this was seen as a gimmick to core gamers, it enabled Nintendo to reach a broader audience, which resulted in them selling just over 101 million units. This next console on our list shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. It's a console that was the foundation for Sony and gaming and set them up as a force to be reckoned with. It's the PlayStation. Released worldwide in 1995, the PlayStation had many consumers praising the console's low price point, its processing power, and its use of CD-ROM, making games more affordable. PlayStation also brought with it an extensive library of third-party games, thanks to the PlayStation support of third-party developers. Its commercial success led to PlayStation selling over 102 million units worldwide. Of course, this list is filled with consoles that are from earlier generations of gaming since they have the power of time to rack up their sales, but this next one is the only console from this gen to compete. It's the PlayStation 4. With the release of PlayStation 4, PlayStation highlighted the console's graphical capabilities, its redesigned DualShock 4 controller, games exclusive for the console, and its dedication to indie developers. Selling over 106 million consoles, the PlayStation has been on the market for seven years and continues to impress. 
Gaming on the go wouldn't be what it is today if it wasn't for these influential consoles. They're the Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color. The love child of Nintendo's handheld console, Mr. Game & Watch, and the Nintendo Entertainment System, the Game Boy featured inferior graphics compared to its competitors. Despite that, the console's durability, long-lasting battery life, and successful titles helped catapult its popularity. Fueled off its success, Nintendo released the Game Boy Color that brought color to the handheld screen and its selection. Collectively, the two sold over 118 million units worldwide. Now you can have all the power and excitement of Nintendo right in the palm of your hand. With how well the Game Boy did, commercially, many critics thought it was impossible for Nintendo to top it. But they did just that thanks to the Nintendo DS. The Nintendo DS offered distinct features that set it apart from the rest. The most notable being its foldable design, dual screens with one being a touchscreen, a stylus, and a built-in microphone. Its unique characteristics appealed to a wider audience outside of poor gamers as it made gaming more accessible to non-gamers. This contributed to it selling approximately 154 million units and being crowned the best-selling handheld console of all time. Released almost two decades ago, this console continues to hold the top spot for the best-selling console. It's the PlayStation 2. Even though the console faced its fair share of criticism, like jagged graphics compared to Dreamcast, it still had gamers gravitating to it. Selling over 155 million units worldwide, the PlayStation 2's success is attributed to its use of both DVD-ROM and CD-ROM and games that were exclusive for the console. It also gave successful franchises like God of War, Kingdom Hearts, and Devil May Cry their start, showing us that all gamers truly want is good games for whatever console they're playing on.